Hi, set Amazon here, and in this video, I want to show you how to set up your um bank account session for your Amazon KDP account. And this is especially for those who are from first world countries. I'm doing this particular video in response to a request I got recently, like you can see on the screen right now, from one of my subscribers who wanted me to um show them how to set up your bank information this particular client in this um, situation is from the united kingdom from uk so i want to show you exactly what you can do now to set up your account if you are stumbling on my channel for the first time do well to subscribe to my channel like this video and share it and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back and thank you for your love so quickly to this video i'm Currently, straight in my KDP account session, the account session. You, I know if you already, if you already a publisher on Amazon, you already know where this session is. But just in case you don't know, when your account is set up, just click on this part that says your account. It's going to bring you to this part where you put your author's details, and then you see this part that says getting paid. So it is at this part that says getting paid that I want you to now see how it is done, especially if you are from a first world country if you are from a first world country so straight away with the example i have this person is from the united kingdom so this part that says where is your bank i want you to come here and select united kingdom right so but if you are from the us then definitely you would want to choose us or any other country that applies to your case but in this case it's united kingdom now this part where you see account holder name i want you to type in your name here just type in your full name as it appears in your bank information so i'm going to use this information the information of this particular author that i'm working with i'm just going to type that there i'll just type the author's name here i'll type in the author's name now depending on the kind of account that you use some account that a check-in so my savings but this particular one is a checking account so i'm going to leave it as checking then i'll come here and get the iban you already know what your iban is <laughs> so you paste that iban that long string of code there then this part where you see bic code bic code is also the same as swift code just in case so look for your swift code which is um, usually usually starts with you know um a series a string of 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 letters starting from the code of your your particular bank to the current the location the uh, country and then a string of other information so you just get that but it usually looks like this so depending on your bank the swift code usually looks something like this so when you have inserted all of that just click on this button that says add you will see that it says your account sorry your you are set up to receive payment for sales across all amazon marketplaces but then it says amazon is going to pay you in euros so what i want you to now do after you set that up you can see that you'll be paid in euros and i know that your account is a pound account but it says you're going to be paid in euros and you'll be wondering how to proceed not to fret what you just need to do is to Click on this currencies here. You can just, just tap on it like this. Click and change. Click and change. I want you to do that for all the um do that for all the marketplaces, except if your bank account can also receive um also receive euros in them. So, but if it if it does not receive euros as well, I want you to change it like just like I've done. I've changed everything. And you can see here now it says that all my payments are going to be in pounds right so when you have done that that is not all you also need to come and fill up this tax information right so i want you to just click on this part that says complete tax information click on save and continue and it's going to lead us to the part where we are going to take this particular tax interview now in this place where you're going to take tax interview i also want you to be very careful as to how you take this i uh, just follow the same process i'm following right now to get this done this part we ask if you what classification of tax do you have you select individual which is already selected 
Then are you a US citizen? Now, if you're a US citizen, I want you to click on yes. If you click on yes like this as a US citizen, you are now going to be asked to proceed with other information like inserting your, you can see here, inserting your SSN or your international uh, TIN number, you know, you're going to put the information here. And because you're a US citizen or your EIN, anyone that is applicable to you. But for this particular subscriber who is a UK person, I want you to click on no, right? So this part that says, are you a US citizen? If you are from the UK or countries that is not US, click on no, right? Are you acting as an intermediary agent? Click on no, right? So it takes you down here. Now your full name will be here. Your country of citizenship, your country of citizenship now is where I want you to also pay attention. If you are residing in the UK, but you are you are not yet a citizen, and this part that asks you for country of citizenship, I want you to come and select your particular country where you have um, citizenship. I want you to come to and select a particular country where you are a citizen. So um, in this case, I, I will select Nigeria because that is where this particular auto is. But if you have, if you have if you are not just a resident in the in the UK, but if you are a citizen of United Kingdom, I want you to come down and select United Kingdom. Just select United Kingdom like this. Select United Kingdom like this. Then in this part where you see you have selected United Kingdom, this when you set up your account in this in the previous session where you were setting up the account, that part where you are asked for your um personal information. Mind you, this particular account is set up for a Nigerian, and that's why. You can see that what you see is a Nigerian account. So I'm using this to just explain to you who is in the UK. So this part, if you have set up your account correctly, especially when you are asked for your name, your date of birth, and your address, your permanent address here will also automatically reflect United Kingdom, the exact location where you have inserted. So you will not have any need to change anything here. But I'm just doing this for illustration purposes. You change this to United Kingdom, if you are a citizen of the United Kingdom. However, if you are a resident of the United Kingdom, but you are not yet a citizen, feel free, use your country of citizenship here, but the, your, your, your country and address of, of, um, of residency is going to be already here. So which means in this case, your country of residence is going to be United Kingdom. I hope that is clear enough. Then, this part where you are asked if you have a US teen or you don't have a US teen, as a resident of the United Kingdom, it is it is believed that you have a teen. I know it is called NI number where you are. So this is where you are going to type in that set of code. I think it's about eight to ten digits. I don't know, but this is where you are going to type your NI number, your teen. Type it here. Make sure that this is checked. You can see it says, I have a non-US team. So make sure that this is checked, then you type the number here. When you type the number here, you click on continue and you proceed. However, if you are in the US, uncheck this, then check this. When you check that, you are now prompted to impute your information here, right? So you input your, your, the, the, your, the team for you put your your US thing here or your EIN as it applies to you. So for you who is in the UK, make sure that this is this is checked instead. Remove this and check only this one. Type in your NI number here, then click on continue. So I'm going to just do something for illustration purposes. What I'm typing is not correct, but I just want to do it um just to just to illustrate for you to see um what happens next. So when you type your NI number here, I want you to click on continue. When you click on continue, you can see that it says country of residence, is, it says Nigeria here. Why is it say Nigeria? Because the address here of residence is Nigeria. But your case is going to show, it's going to show United Kingdom. And when it is when it is United Kingdom, let me show you what you're going to see. If it's United Kingdom, you will see this message automatically will appear under it. It says, it will say, the selected country qualifies for treaty benefits. I want you to, after you have done that, click on confirm. I've just decided, I'll, I'll come back and edit this. This is just for illustration. 
click on confirm scroll down a little bit click on i certify then type in your full names here type in your full names here in this case i have this fever okay I have this is the name here then just click on save and preview and you it takes you back to this point where you see all of this to preview click on submit form when you click on submit form you will see that in, you know now it says the country the pretty country provided in different is different from the permanent address country with the withholding tax rate of blah, blah blah now the reason why i show me this is because um the country address the country address i use are for residency is different from the country that i have selected for tax treaty and there's a little bit of confusion and that's why you can see that a still saying applicable rate of 30 percent remember what i told you when you set up your account you use your uk address if you use your uk address as soon as you are done you will see 0, 0.00 percent here so yes when the account is fully set up you are going to see 0, 0.00 percent here uh, of course i cannot um proceed with a correct uk um, details because i don't have one at this moment so but if you did it correctly if you follow the procedures i've shown you you will see 0, 0.0 percent here and then it shows that your account is fully set up and all you need to do is to click on save so i want you to follow through what i have shown you just now in this video let me know if you have any questions if you try it out and it does not really work for you please let me know in the comments i am going to see how um we are going to really get all of this across and then be able to fully set up the account correctly but that is actually the procedure it takes whether you are from the uk or the us or any other country that is in the first world that is the procedure to follow first of all ensure that this part where you are filling up your personal information has your exact country of residence your location is also well imputed don't forget the procedure i showed you on how to input your bank account details here and then taking up the tax information your your country residence should and we will automatically have been updated to fit what you have put initially in this location in this area of this space is provided so that alone is the procedure in order to get all of this done so i hope this video was helpful do well to subscribe to my channel follow me and um, watch the other videos i have on this channel and then any of the videos that pop up it's something that's going to be useful for you and beneficial do it also watch it thank you i remain at amazon and then i am really delighted to see you in my videos thank you for stopping by and then i hope to see you in another video cheers and bye bye for now